Good morning, fourth graders. We're working on our tiny art galleries, and right now we've been working on the gallery itself. We worked on the floor. You're gonna finish that, and then move on to arranging your artwork in your gallery. So here's what you're gonna do. You're going to take your framed pieces and put a little piece of blue masking tape in a little round loop on each piece that you have. I have five pieces here to be my gallery. Your wall, however you've decided, mine's gonna stay white. You can then arrange your work and rearrange your work to fill your gallery. So you can decide what looks good as you're working. So I'm gonna lay this down and just kind of Bring it not too close to the floor, <coughs> excuse me, not too close to the top, little space between, and then you can check it. So if I close it up, now you can see how my gallery would look. And then if I'm not sure I like that, if I want this to be up a little bit higher, if I want these to be the same, if I want that centered, I can just undo the tape just real easily and rearrange it. Once you have it arranged to your liking, you are going to decide which one is numbers one, two, three, four, five, all the way up to six, if you have six pieces, and then we're going to create labels for those. So that'll be our next video. This video is just about arranging everything. The next thing that you need to do if you have sculpture is you're going to put together a pedestal for your gallery. So you'll need a cork, that you can tell sits nice and flat, and you will need a top to that, and you will be sharing and using this glue, which is tacky glue, it's nice and thick. So you're going to put the glue on the top that's going to connect to the circle. You're just gonna touch it to it, take it around a little bit, it's really thick. Get a little coating of glue on top, and then you're going to center your circle right on top, press it down. You can turn it upside down to check it. See how the glue is coming out around the edges. It's perfect. And I'm going to let that dry on my desk while I go on to do the labels for my gallery. Okay, that's all for now. The next video will show you how to do labels. So arranging your work, creating your pedestal. One sculpture can sit on there. Let me show you how it'll look wherever you decide to put it. And then you'll have your sculpture on top of that. So if you have more than one sculpture, you might need more than one, but you have to decide where it would sit best and how to arrange it. All right, good luck.